Okay. Welcome, welcome. Get comfy on your back. Keep your arms out to your sides. Close your eyes down. And just take some beautiful big breaths here. <sighs> just enjoy this moment. So not thinking about anything before or after this class, but just being still. Just feeling your breath, being present. So often we miss important things going on in our lives when we are not present. And thinking about the past or the future. Let's just be here. And enjoy this moment in time. We're talking this week about being a living legacy and how we can really worship God with our bodies, these temples of the Holy Spirit that he has given us. And today, specifically thinking about 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, that talks about our bodies being temples of the Holy Spirit. It says, do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. So again, these are big concepts, not easily understood. That we are a living, breathing sacrifice and then also how incredible to think that our bodies are God's temple because he lives in us. So we're going to shift gears a little bit today and talk about how we can not only worship him with our temples, but also just taking really good care of these temples that he has given us. And I like to think about it as if it were anything that God has given us as a gift, like our finances that we need to steward well, or our families that are gifts to us that we need to steward well and to take care of. It's a lot of responsibility, but we can always ask him for help too. So maybe just thinking right now about ways that you can honor God better with your body, with your temple. And maybe it's just in taking better care of it. I know you guys, because you do Christ-centered yoga, I know you're good at taking care of your bodies. But sometimes we just need a little correction, maybe eating better, maybe sleeping better. <laughs> That's something I'm not very good at. But just ways that we can ask God for help to take better care of our bodies. Maybe it's more exercise. Maybe it's getting rid of something that we don't need in our bodies. So maybe just thinking about that right now. How can you take better care of your temple? Good job, you guys. Let's start with a nice big stretch. So draw those arms all the way back. Keep in line with your hips. Point your toes. Stretch out your body. Really big. As long as you can. On the exhale, draw your knees into your chest. Squeeze it in. On the inhale, bring your feet to your mat with your knees bent. We're going to go into bridge pose. So light up your bridge, lift your hips high. If you can puff up your chest a little, bringing your chest towards your chin. And then gently lower down. Slowly drawing your spine to the mat. Bring your 
Knees back into your chest with your exhale. And with your inhale, take it all the way back. And we'll do that all over again. So nice big stretch here. Think about your feet, think about your fingertips. Exhale, knees in. Inhale, bring your feet to the mat, knees bent. Lift up for bridge. Let's gently lower down your spine. Draw your knees back into your chest with your exhale. And we'll take one more nice, big, long stretch. Point your toes, reach back. And just stay here for a couple of breaths. Really lengthening. Think about this temple that God has given you. It's so amazing to think that He lives in us. That we have the Holy Spirit in us. Let's take those knees into the chest. Exhale. And gently move here. So I want you to take whatever movement you want here, side to side or circles. Or maybe you have some other movement that you like. Just take anything that feels good for your body, for your temple right here. Noticing your breath. If you're making circles, make sure to go the other way. Bring it back into center. Legs come high, legs come wide. Circle out your feet, spread out your toes. Take one more and reverse. Give those toes a stretch. We'll take one more. Draw the legs together, bring the soles of the feet together, take your knees wide and butterfly, hands on your feet, draw the feet into your body. If you want to lift your head towards your feet, you can. Rounding out your spine, and you can also get some movement here in your lower spine if you want to. Just go where you want to go with this. Let's gently release. Go ahead and stretch everything out. You're going to take a nice little twist. So come onto your left side with your right knee over. But we're not going to stay there. We're going to open it up. So right knee over the left side. And then go ahead and open it up. So right knee comes out to the right, opening up into your hip opener. So we're going to do that again. So we're just going to move back and forth here. So right knee comes over the left side, and then take your right hip out to the right side for your hip opener. So again, just moving back and forth. And I want you to do this in your own timing. Okay, just going as far as you want each way. Nice job, you guys. Just warming up into those hips. Making that nice little, just kind of a mini twist when you bring that knee over. Great job. We're going to do one or two more here. Just do it at your time, in your timing. And then we'll come back into center and we'll switch sides. So your right leg comes out and that left knee comes over. So you, again, you can come up onto that right hip and then open it up. Left knee out to the left side. And just move back and forth. Try to make it fluid. Just thinking about hip opener and then twist. And make sure you're using your breath. You guys are great. So maybe 
feels. Yeah, this feel maybe. This side feels maybe different from the other side. All right, wonderful. Let's take a couple more. Super nice. We'll bring it all back into center. Extend your left leg out. So bring your hips back to center, left leg out. And then we're going to draw both knees into your chest. Squeeze them in really tight. And we'll roll on up to seated. Make as many rolls of your spine as you want. And then everybody comes on up. So legs are wide on the edges of your mat. You're leaning back, your knees are bent. You're gonna windshield wiper your legs here to the left and to the right. Just working into those hips some more, getting that movement. We'll take a few more here. You guys are having a great day so far. Yay for Fridays. Let's bring it back into center. Go right into your chest opener. So cross your legs, lean back more, lift your chest and your gaze. Squeezing your shoulder blades together in the back. Let's breathe deeply into the chest, taking four deep breaths. Extend out through the crown of your head. Last breath. Nice job. Walk it into center and walk it forward, stretching out your back, looking down, reaching it out. And we'll take a few deep breaths here. Really plant your hips and get that lovely stretch into your back. Let's walk it over to the left. Nice big stretch here. We'll take a few breaths here. gently walk the other way. And then just really reaching out, noticing the side of your body. Maybe you feel it in your latissimus dorsi. Maybe you feel it in your shoulders. We'll take a few breaths here. Let's walk it back in the center. And then come all the way back up. We're going to go into our shoulder and tricep stretch. So take your left elbow and your right hand and gently reach down the center of your back. Really press that elbow down. Remember not to bring your chin forward. Press your chin back. Okay, go for that double chin if you need to, but make sure your chin is not forward and your neck is not jutting forward. So we'll take one more breath here. Really press it down. Let's release and we'll go the other way. So take that right elbow, gently press it down, reach down the center of your back with your hand. Draw your neck back, pull your chin back. Sit tall and sit strong. Remember that core, a strong core as you really lengthen that spine up and press the elbow down. Pulling the chin back. One more breath here. 
All right, so we're going to take opposite hand to opposite elbow, so framing your face. Framing your face. We'll take it side to side. Just keep your legs crossed. My little doggy's in the way, sorry. Keep your legs crossed and gently take it side to side. Focusing on your oblique muscles, those muscles on the side of your body. Let's take a couple more here. All right, super great, you guys. Bring it out in center and float your arms down. Good job. Take those arms out in front, shoulder level. Open shut, open shut your hands. Get those palms facing down. Do my little squid hands. They look like little squids. Take your palms up. Keep opening and shutting. Really good for those fingers and hands to keep them nimble. Let's take a few more. Awesome job. Bring it back into center. All right, drop those arms. Take your right arm out about 45 degrees. I want you to really think about pulling your fingers back. Make sure your hand is very flexed. Press the palm and the heel of your hand out. And then we'll take that opposite hand to your right ear and just gently pull your left ear to your left shoulder. Okay, so this can be kind of intense if you really press the heel of that hand out. Isn't that nice long stretch? You might feel it all the way down into your shoulders. Maybe you feel it in your wrists. Now let's shift our gaze to look down at our left thigh or left armpit, depending on if you want to get a little twist in there. Shifting the hand on the head as well. And just remember slight pressure on the head, just very slight pressure. All right, great job, you guys. Let's bring the gaze up towards the sky towards heaven. Again, shifting the hand on the head. That right hand still pressing out. Okay, still breathing. So keep that right arm extended. Bring your head to center here. Take the hand to the back of your head. Gently press down as you look down towards your belly button. Looking towards belly button, getting the nice stretch of the back of your neck. Keep pressing the heel of your hand out on that right side. All right, let's gently release. Shake all of that out. We'll do the other side. So press that left arm out. So again, about 45 degrees. Pull the fingers back. Really flex that hand. Right hand to the head, gently dropping ear to shoulder, lengthening out that left side, really pushing the heel of the hand away from you. Make it strong. We'll take one more breath here. And then we're going to look down, so either towards that right leg or maybe towards your right armpit. A little bit of a twisting stretch here. Focusing on pressing out the hand, the heel of that hand. Keep breathing. Let's take the gaze up now. Up towards the sky, shifting hand on the head. Pressing it out. You guys are doing great. Take one more breath here. And release. So bring your head to center with your hand on the back of your head. Gently drop your chin down towards your chest, looking towards your belly button. Gentle pressure in the back of your head. Chin towards the chest. One more breath here. Two 
All right, super nice. Gently release all of that, hands on your knees. Your neck has been really stretched out. Maybe you just want to kind of roll it out a little. Make any movement in your neck that feels good. Circles or side to side, anything that feels nice. And then we're going to come into our tabletop. We're going to do that a little bit more. So just letting your head hang and again, just getting um, some more movement in your neck, anything that feels good here in this different position of your tabletop. So we'll take a few more. And we'll bring it back into center. Great job, you guys. So we're going to go into a nice, strong hunting dog. Take your left leg back, toes down. Left wrist under your left shoulder, right arm out. Right thumb up, looking at the mat. Strong hunting dog pose. Let's drop your left toes and your right pinky finger to the mat. And then take it up. This is an option. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But if you want to, drop it down and up and down and up. And we'll do one more down, just gently touching down. Lift it back up nice and strong. Take a breath, the hunting dog. Take your tabletop, find your cat, exhale and round. Dropping your head towards the mat. Inhale to your cow pose. Dropping belly down. Awesome. Back into tabletop. We'll do the other side, right leg out. Toes pointed down, left arm out. Left thumb up, make sure your right wrist is under your right shoulder. Hips are squared off, your core is strong. You can stay here or you can drop it down. Get up, so drop it down. Again, left pinky, right toes. Take it up, drop down, and up. Keep it strong wherever you are. Drop it down one more time. Take it up. We're going to hold and hunting dog for a breath. And just push that right heel out. And drop it down. Let's go to our cat. Exhale and round your back. Drop your head. Hug your pelvis. Inhale to cow. Head up. Build that pelvis out. Nice job. Back into your tabletop. Move your hands forward a little bit. Make your big circles with your hips. Press them out. Let's take one more here. And then go the opposite way. Big flow circle. Breathing. Let's take one more. Bring it back into center. So come back to your tabletop, and we're gonna do another really nice stretch of that right side. So take your right arm out. Okay, bring your head down towards the mat. Pull your right fingers back towards your right shoulder. Nice. And see where you feel this. You might feel this in your arm pit even. Really pulling your fingers back again. Getting a lot of nice stretches into our hands and our wrists today. So really pull again those fingers back. And we'll take a couple of breaths. We'll come back up and we'll switch sides. So take that left arm out. Take it out as far as you can. Pull those left fingers back. Head on the mat. Just let that right arm do whatever it needs to do here. We're focusing on the left side. And again, you're sending that left heel, the heel of the hand out as you lengthen into the left side of your body, your shoulder, your arm. Take another breath or two here. And 
Come back into tabletop. Good job, you guys. Let's do one more cat and cow here. And we'll come back to the tabletop. We'll go into our downward facing dog. Here we go. Lift those hips up high. And that lovely big upside down V. Make sure you're pushing your hands into the mat. You don't really push into your knuckles. Push the ground away. You can curve your fingers and kind of grip that way with your fingertips. Some people like that. Some people don't. Okay, that's up to you. Push those hips back. Ears by your upper arms, by your biceps. Walk it out when you're ready. Slowly. Enjoying that first down dog. Great job, you guys. Walk your hands to your feet. Come into a forward fold. Take a little swish over to the left and a swish over to the right. Nice little finger painting for Jesus. These temples that he has given us. Just bring it back into center. Come into your chair pose. Come on up to chair, sitting deeply into your hips. Sweep it back, palms facing down. Sweep forward and then take your left arm back. Twisting, looking back over your left shoulder. Thumbs are up. Take that left arm forward and take the right arm back. So come into a nice twist. Twisting chair. Make sure to drop your shoulders. Thumbs are up. Sweep that right arm forward. Let's come to standing. Take it all the way up, stretching up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, take it up. Bring your hands together in prayer and take it back. We're going to come into our back bend. Fingertips reaching back as we gently push our hips forward, grounding down into your feet. Go as far as you can go, as far as feels good for you here in your back bend. Let's bring it back into center. Swan dive it down. Bend your right knee. Take your right hand under your nose and your left arm high. Looking up. And then we'll switch. Left hand under your nose, left knee bent, right arm high. Nice big stretch up. Great job, you guys. Bring it down, right arm down. You're back into your forward fold. Walk it forward for your downward facing dog. Just walk it out. Wonderful job. Push into your left foot. Take your right leg high. Bring your knee to your left arm anywhere that works for you. And then bring it over to your right arm. So just sweep it over to the right arm. Take it up. With your breath, you're back to your three-legged dog. We're going to do that again. Bend the knee, take it to your left arm. Sweep it to your right arm. Take it up to your three-legged dog. We're going to do it one more time. Knee comes to the left arm, knee comes to the right arm, and then take it back to three-legged dog. Find your runner's lunge. Right foot forward. Get some movement in runner's lunge. And then coming back to runner's lunge, drop your left knee and come up to your crescent pose. So untuck your back toes, big breath up, reaching all the way back. We're going to cactus the arms, stay here for a breath as you open up that chest, letting those shoulders fall back. And then sweep the arms down and all the way back up. So just scoop it back up and back into that crescent, cactus your arms. Stay here for a breath. Let those arms fall back down behind you. Scoop them all the way down and back up. Last time, reach 
reaching up to crescent and then taking your cactus pose with those cactus arms. Hold for a breath. Arms drop down. Keep your hands to the mat here and sit it back for your half split. Pull your right toes back. Take a breath or two here, working into the back of that right leg. Come forward back to your runner's lunge, tuck your left toes, bring your right leg back to your downward facing dog. Push into your right foot, take your left leg high, bring your knee to your right arm, sweep it over to your left arm, and left leg comes high. We'll do it again. Knee comes to the right arm, sweep to the left arm, left leg high. Good core work, you guys. Let's do it one more time. Knee to the right arm, sweep to the left arm, left leg comes high. Runner's lunge. Check your placement and then get some movement. Great job, everybody. Come back in the center, drop your right knee down, untuck your right toes, come up to a nice big crescent, leaning those hips forward as your body leans back. And bringing that gaze up, we're going to cactus the arms, and then drop the arms down, sweep them all the way around. Make it nice and big and pretty. Come back up to your crescent. Go to your cactus arms, hold for a breath, opening that chest, drop the arms down, sweep them all the way around and back up to crescent, cactus arms, hold for a breath, sweep it down, Just keep the hands down on the mat this time, sit it back for your half split, pull your left toes back. Holding over, breathing, pull those left toes back, really focus on the back of your left leg. Come back into runner's lunge, tuck your right toes, bring your left leg back for your downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and take a flow here, find your plank. Lower it down, elbows pointed back, low plank. Untuck your toes, cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Good job, you guys. Walk it out. Huddle out your heels. Let's move forward into our plank and then come back into your downward facing dog. We're going to do that four more times. So find your plank. Downward facing dog, plank, downward facing dog. Let's do two more. Nice strong plank, down dog, and last one. Plank and down dog. Good job. That's so good for your shoulders and your core. Push into your left foot. Take your right leg nice and high. Come to warrior one pose. Rising up strong. Again, we're thinking this week about how we worship as we move through our practice. We're, we are living sacrifice. So we bring the gaze to heaven. We bring up fingers reaching to heaven, lifting your heart up to heaven. Let's take a breath here or two in our warrior one. And then we're going to bring that body down, sweep the arms back. So coming down humbly, palms are facing down here, pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Drop the left arm down, right arm high for your revolving side angle stretch. Great job. And then we'll switch, right hand down, left arm high, and side angle stretch. And then come back to that airplane pose. So bring your gaze down, body nice and level, arms back, palms facing down, and then find your warrior one again. 
arms come high. Hands to the mat, right leg comes back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and take your flow, plank, low plank, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Push into your right foot, left leg comes high, left foot forward, warrior one. Rise up strong, sink into your pose. And open it up, bring that gaze up, open up that chest. God, how awesome he is here. As you breathe, maybe you thank him for your temple. And then we'll bring the body down, sweeping back, humbly, palms facing down. Let's drop that right hand down, left arm high, revolving your side angle stretch. And then we'll switch left hand down and right arm high, coming back to regular side angle stretch. Remember, you can always use that that lower arm to press into your leg. Okay, makes your pose stronger. So bring your body down, look down, sweep those arms back again with your palms facing down. And then we'll rise up strong to warrior one. Hands come to the mat, left leg comes back, downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and take our flow. Or you can go straight to your child's pose if you want up to you. And then we all come into our child's pose. A very worshipful child's pose with your head down. We talked on Wednesday about worshiping him in a prostrate position with our faces down. And certainly in our child's pose, we have that prostrate face down position. So just take some time here to worship him, to thank him for your temple, and maybe even think about how you can take better care of that temple. So I'm going to talk just for a moment about body image. We should definitely be content with these temples that God has given us and even like our temples. But on the other hand, we don't want to be prideful about our temples. And I've heard it said this way, we can neglect our bodies, which is bad. We can reject our bodies, which is also bad. We can try to perfect our bodies. And that's not really always great either because that's often um, prideful as well. That often involves a lot of pride. Um, but I like um, the way I've heard this, which is the fourth one. We should protect our bodies and honor God with our bodies. This is a good thing protect our bodies, we take care of our bodies, and we honor God with our bodies, but we're not prideful about our bodies. And we don't neglect them, we don't reject them. So something to think about here is you take a few more breaths. All right, super job. Let's find upward facing dog. Go extend up. Okay, neck is reaching up away from the shoulders. Tuck your toes, come to your downward facing dog. Push into your left foot, take your right leg high. 
Bend your right knee, stack your hips, draw your right knee towards the sky as you flex your foot. Really press the ground away. Open up that top hip. And then we'll come into our warrior two. Right foot in between your two hands, come up strong. Check your arms. We're gonna reach back for reverse warrior. And then back to warrior two. Cartwheel hands to the mat, right leg back, downward facing dog. Push into your right foot, left leg high, bend your left knee, stack your hips. Flex your left foot, really draw that left knee towards the sky. Push the ground away. And then find your warrior two, drop your knee down. Left foot in between your two hands, warrior two. Reverse. Reach back, sink in, back to warrior two. Cartwheel hands to the mat, left leg back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and take a flow here, find your plank, lower down, cobra or up dog, downward facing dog. Do it again, right leg high, bend your knees, stack your hips. Open it up. Press into that left foot. Press the hands into the mat. Warrior two. Rise up strong. Check out, check those arms, drop your shoulders. Reverse. Back to warrior two. Cartwheel hands to the mat. Right leg back. Downward facing dog. We'll do the other side. Left leg high. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Draw that left knee towards the sky. Bring the knee down, warrior two. Look out your back foot. Strong arms, drop those shoulders. Reach back, reverse your warrior. Back to warrior two, cartwheel hands to the mat, left leg back, downward facing dog. All right, you can take a flow here or not, I threw in an extra flow today, so if you want to pass and go to your child's pose, you can. Yogi's choice, you're the yogi, so it's your choice. We'll all come back into child's pose. So listen to this. Your body is God's home. Okay, that's what we know from 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. And I'll just read it again. Do you not know that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. And therefore, honor God with your bodies. So, your body is God's home. You should not rate it. You should not hate it. You should not shame it. You should not discount it, forget it, measure it, curse it, or worship it. Think about it. Your body is God's home. And your body holds your story. There's a book about that. That um, if you know anybody who's a counselor, they can tell you about your body holds your story. When people have um, physical harm to their body, it stays in their body and that becomes part of their story. Okay, so our bodies are way more than we ever think about each day as we get out of bed. They're God's home. 
You don't want to rate it, hate it, shame it, discount it, forget it, measure it, curse it, or worship it. Remember that you were made in the image of God. And your body is God's home. Let's just take a moment to reflect on that. Take a few more breaths here. All right, let's come forward onto your bellies. So we're going to go to our spine strengtheners. So we're going to go to sphinx pose. Bring your arms out in front, your forearms, your elbows are under your shoulders. Legs are together, shoulders together, chuck the toes together. Don't bring your shoulders together, that'll be hard. Your fingers are spread wide. Okay, you're pressing into the tops of your feet. You're going to start with your head down. Okay, make sure those elbows are in the right spot. They don't have to be super close to the body. They can be a little bit away from the body. Just make sure it feels right. You're going to extend up into that spine, stretching out the front of the body, extending up through the crown of your head. Okay, we're going to stay here for a breath or two. Really press into your forearms, lift up and away. Feel that lovely stretch in your back. And then gently lower down. Take the side of your face to your mat, your arms to your sides, and gently release. And just let all of that go. Letting your temple rest. We'll take one more breath here. Bring your chin back to the mat. So let's do that again. Come into your Sphinx pose. Start with your head down and gently bring that head up. That lovely stretch into your abdominal muscles. So we're going to stay here for four or five breaths. Okay, as an option, if your head gets too heavy or if this doesn't feel comfortable for your neck, bring your hands together in prayer. Okay, with your elbows bent, hands together in prayer. And you can bring your forehead to your knuckles, the knuckles of your thumb. Okay, so there's an option if you feel like there's too much strain on your neck. Okay, we're going to stay here for a few more breaths, so really extend up. One more breath here. Gently lower down, take the other side of your face to your mat, your arms to your sides, relax. Let it go. Just feel your head resting into your mat. You breathe. Take care of your temple. Awesome job, you guys. One more breath here. Bring your chin to your mat. Gently press up. Find your way to your back. All right, draw your knees into your chest. Just 
squeeze them in. Let's take the right foot or ankle to your left leg. Interlace your fingers either behind your left leg and draw it in, or if you want a little deeper stretch here, bring your fingers interlaced to your lower left shin, so to the shin on your left leg. Okay. So draw that left leg in. Maybe use your right elbow to press your right leg away. Flex both of your feet. Really draw it in. We'll take a few breaths here. Last breath. Release, extend your left leg out, find your full twist. So right knee over the left side of your body. Into your full twist. Right arm out, lift your right hand. This might feel familiar since we did those little mini twists at the beginning of class. Into your breathing. Let's gently unwind. Right knee out to the right side. So your hip opener, left side stays down. You are a temple. Hopefully you guys can hear this song. One more breath here, your hip opener. Bring that right knee in, gently extend your right leg out. Bring both knees in. Left foot or ankle to your right leg. Interlace your fingers either behind your right leg or at your lower leg in your shin. Draw the right leg in. Flex both of your feet. Maybe you use your elbow to send your left leg away. Take a couple more breaths here. Gently extend your right leg out. Left knee over the right side. Find your twist. Or a temple. Look out to your left hand. Lovely full spinal twist. Couple more little breaths in your twist. Gently unwind, go for your hip opener. Those hips squared off, left knee out to the left side. Keep the right side down. We'll stay here as we breathe. Keeping your neck long. Couple more breaths here. Left knee in, right knee in, knees into your chest, take a little rock and roll here. And then move into your happy baby when you're ready. Draw the knees down, gently rock. Eyes are closed. God's home. The Holy Spirit lives in you. Almost too much to believe, but God's word is very clear about that. 
He used to have a, to live in an ark in the Old Testament, and now he lives in you in the New Testament. Pretty darn cool. Let's take a few more happy babies. Bring it back into center. Draw your feet together. Take your butterfly legs. You can bring your head to your feet if you want. And then gently release, take your arms back, nice big stretch, point your toes, lengthen. We're just going to take one big stretch here, so stay here. You can interlace your fingers and press your palms back. One more breath in, really press the palms back or take a little more stretch. And then exhale, bring your knees in, head to your knees and knees to your head. Release, walk your legs out. Take the legs wide. Take that big starfish pose, arms away from the body. Can you imagine that you're lying on a beach, super relaxed, body spread out, limbs away from the body, big breath in, this is our final big breath, so make it count, you're going to breathe into your belly and breathe into your chest, and then we're going to exhale out through the chest and out through the belly. Let it go. Imagine that nice, cool ocean breeze on your face. Your body begins to just completely let go. Feeling the hands getting heavier as your fingers and fingertips even relax. Lower arms relaxing, upper arms relaxing, arms becoming very soft all the way up to your shoulders. And then bringing your attention to your chest, maybe you notice your collarbones, noticing your belly and allowing your belly and your chest to relax as your breath moves through your body. heart beating in your chest. Just becoming aware of all parts of your body and then just letting them go. So noticing the very bottom of your belly, your lower belly, and then notice your pelvis and your hips. And let all of that relax. Relax all the way down to your ankles and your heels. Letting your hamstrings, your quadriceps, and your calf muscles relax all the way down. Down to your feet, and then being aware of your feet, allowing the feet to relax all the way down to your toes and the very ends of your toes. Even noticing the soles of the feet. Just letting all of that go. And your feet and your legs become very soft and relaxed. Now 
Now follow that feeling all the way back up to your glute muscles and your lower back and your entire back. All the parts of your body that are meeting your mat, just let them rest into your mat, releasing glute muscles and back. and shoulder blades, all the way into your upper back, and then coming to your neck, noticing your neck, allowing your neck to fully relax all the way up into your jaw. Just let it soften and surrender, releasing all those tight muscles around your jaw, relaxing your mouth and relaxing your tongue. And then relaxing your facial muscles. All the way to the top of your face, your forehead, and to the top of your head. And all around your head, just letting go of every part of you. Allowing yourself to release and let go. Taking care of this beautiful temple. Just giving it a few moments of just complete relaxation. Complete release. Coming back to your breath. Think about it, your body is God's home. You are made in his image. That's pretty awesome. Let's take care of these temples. Let's not reject them or neglect them or try to perfect them, but let's protect our bodies and honor God with them. Remember, you should not rate your body. You should not hate it or shame it or discount it or forget it or measure it or curse it or worship it. Just think of ways right now we can honor God better with our bodies, take better care of our bodies, protect our bodies. You're made in God's image and your body holds your story. Your body is incredible. Let's take a moment here to reflect on this while we rest and breathe. beautiful ones great job let's gently bring back some movement and then roll over to your side stay there for just a bit and then come on up way to go yay you guys let's bow our heads in prayer Dearest Heavenly Father God, oh Lord, it's just so amazing that you live in us and our bodies. We're not only made in your image, but they, we are your temples. It's so incredible to wrap our minds around it. Thank you that you think that much of us, Lord God. We're so grateful for these bodies, words and all. We 
just praise you, Lord God. And pray that we take as good of care of these bodies as we possibly can. Give us wisdom and help in that when we need it. When we have ailments or injuries, help us in taking care of ourselves. Give us that wisdom and discernment. Lord God, thank you that you sacrificed your body on the cross for us loved us that much that you gave yourself so that we can live with you in heaven for eternity. I'm so thankful. And I'm so thankful for these women. I pray this time together has blessed them, their mind, their body, their soul, and nourished them well. And that you have refreshed and restored them. And I pray that they just feel very close to you today. Lord, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in your holy and precious name that we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you guys. Thank you, beautiful ladies. Have a wonderful Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks, Mary Beth. Thank you. Good to see you.